I know that we're lost, the lines fade to black, this road that we've crossed will never turn back, give me a hand, hand, a crumbling roof, I hope it will hold me to find truth, can't be consoled, give me a hand, hand. Sam, hey. Hey, Dad. How's school? Uh, what I would give to be your age again. What's wrong? Nothing, just catching my breath. Well, yeah, since when do you take breaks? Since always. I don't believe you, you're a workaholic. No, I'm not. Matter of fact, my first job, I used to work at a juice factory. I used to take long breaks all the time. Never told me about that. Yeah, fortunately, I got canned. Just couldn't concentrate. Oh my god. You know, now that I got some time on my hands, I think I'm gonna go work on the car. Still don't know why you bought that stupid thing. Nostalgia. Your grandfather, my dad, he had one just like it when I was your age. I saw it up for sale and I just couldn't pass by. Well, you should have bought a nice car. That is a nice car. Dad, it's a piece of junk. It's a classic. It's old and ugly. Oof. When did you get to be so judgmental? You know, I think if you gave things a chance, you might learn to appreciate the older things. Yeah, well, I don't think so. Well, why don't you give me a hand? With what? With the car. Yeah. Mm. I can get out the tools, teach you how to use a ratchet. I don't know anything about cars. You don't need to. I'll teach you. Yeah, I have homework. Yeah, it's Friday. You're out of excuses. Come on, it'll be fun. It's really quite simple. You find what's wrong, then you either fix it or replace the part. Now, there's nothing wrong with this car. It's just been sitting in a garage for the last decade. Mom was nice enough to wash it for us this morning. We just need to clean out the parts. Okay, it's the wrong size. Sam, can you grab me a 5 8 
Yeah, that's the one. All right, your turn. Sam? Please? Here you go. Okay, so you just put it on like this and go counterclockwise. There you go. Oops, sorry, my bad. Let me fix that. Don't forget, lefty Lucy, righty tighty. God, what are you listening to? It's the 80s, it's the best. No, it's not. I swear to God, if you say the 80s are old and ugly, I'll disown you as my daughter. Okay, I was just kidding. Bad joke, my bad. Try again. This is stupid, I can't do this. Sure you can. Where are you going? Come on, Sam, can't a guy hang out with his daughter anymore? Okay. Okay? All right. Let's so get this over with. Oh my God, this is so cool. What's so cool about hanging out with you dad? By the way, look what you got going on with your hair there. You've got hair like that back in the 80s. Oh, honey. Where have you two been? We've been at the falls. Two peas in the pod we are. It's for dinner. A butt whooping for being late. <laughs> Guilty. Sam, 
Did you manage to get your homework done at the very least? No, Dad said I can wait. Jack? What? It's Friday night. You're a horrible influence, you know that? Well, I was raised in the barn after all, what'd you expect? Did you have fun? Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah, Mom. Maybe we can do something else tomorrow? Yeah, love to. We can hang out. Yeah, but you probably have a lot of work to do. No, 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 I can, I can put it all aside for you. What would you like to do? I don't know. Okay, well, we can always figure that out tomorrow. We have one full. Dinner was delicious as always. My belt's gonna blow if I have another bite. Going down to the creek. Want to come? Yeah, sure. I'll go get my bag. Oh, shoot. You know what? We can just walk. Yeah. You know, winter's gonna be here soon. Before you know it, it's gonna be covered in snow. Better enjoy it while you can. Well, winter can be nice too. That's true. By the way, uh, what's a snowman's favorite breakfast? What? <laughs> Frosted flakes. <laughs> You're such a goof, Jack. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but you love me anyway. Guilty. Hey, that's my line. By the way, you're looking pretty sexy in those boots. Mm, you're not too bad yourself, mister. Well, thank you. Is Sam back yet? No, you know how she is. Yeah. I'm sorry, hon. No, you should have seen us at the falls the other day. We were having such a good time. It was just like she was a little girl again. 
laughing and joking around. It was awesome. I bet it was. Yeah. What time is it? Seven. Wow. Kind of expected her home by now. You know, Sam wrecked her bike. I gotta run into town and get her a new sprocket. Oh, no. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. She didn't hurt herself? No. Just dropped it on a rock. <laughs> Silly girl. Mm. Anyway, I shouldn't be too long. I'm gonna get that out of the way. And I'll see you soon. Mm. Love you. Love you. Son, looks like you could use a hand. Yeah, that'd be great. Hell of a night to be stuck out here, huh? Let's see what we can find. Oh, let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, you know what? Looks like it might just be a loose rat hose. You guys getting the reception out here? No, you're not gonna get any reception out here. There we go. Now all you need is a little bit of coolant. We'll top it up and see if we can get this thing started. Right on. Be right back. Thank you. 
sun lay soft along the gentle summer breeze. Hear that lonesome robin weep. Hey, Isabel. Are you feeling any better today? No, not really. I know it's difficult, but it will get better with time. I guess. And you know you can always come hang out with me whenever you're feeling down. Yeah. How's your mom doing? I don't know what to do about that woman. What do you mean? She's acting really weird. Almost like nothing ever happened. She doesn't talk about him anymore. She doesn't cry for him. Nothing. All she does is work all day. I'm sure that's just how she's coping. The other day I saw her putting all of his pictures away. She's acting like he never existed. One second, hon. Um, buddy. No, 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 no. Seriously? That's $47. You gotta be kidding me. Here's a 50. Keep the change. Thank you. You're so cool. You're only 24 and you already own your own store. I have your mom to thank for that. My first job was babysitting you. Hard work does pay off. Start saving your pennies, darling. That's good advice. Thanks, Isabel. And don't be so hard on your mom. She's probably having a hard time. Yeah, I don't know about that. See ya. See ya. That's it, that's all. Thanks, Michael. You have no idea how much I appreciate your help. Anything for you, Mrs. A? With what? Everything. I'm working from dawn till dusk trying to get everything done and I'm still falling behind. How can you be working during a time like this? What else could I possibly be doing? Maybe thinking about Dad. Trust me, there is not a moment goes by where I'm not thinking about your dad. But he's gone and there are chores to be done. There's only so much I can do alone. Listen, you've been sitting around for weeks. I know this is difficult, but it's time to focus your attention on something What's else. What's the matter with you? 
What do you mean? You're focusing on all the wrong things. You should focus on what's important. Honey, taking care of the farm is important. No, it's not! I'm trying my best here, Sam. You just don't care. Dad dies and you act like he never even existed. That is not true. Sometimes I wonder if you ever even loved him. anymore. <laughs> and it's okay. You really miss me. You need anything in the world. I'm sorry. You've been so distant. Which made me think you didn't love me. And you didn't love me. Sometimes I may not seem like the most compassionate person in the world. But know that you and Jack are my whole world. And now that he's gone and we've lost him, you're all that matters to me. I love you, Sam. I love you too much. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Take it one day at a time, I guess. I'll help.
Lucy Lucy. Ready to
That shirt looks better on you than it ever did on me. Dad. Hi, Sam. How is this possible? It doesn't really matter right now. What's important is I tell you how proud I am of you. How can you be proud of me? If I would have been there that day, it wouldn't have happened. Oh, Sam, you can't blame yourself. It was an accident. It was just my time. That's not fair, though. You're such a good person. It doesn't matter if you're good or bad, Sam. When it's your time, it's your time. And what's the point of being a good person? If it doesn't even matter. I can't explain all the secrets of the universe to you today, Sam. What I can tell you is this. As a father, I've never been more proud of you than I am right now. I miss you, Dad. I miss you too, sweetheart. I never got to say goodbye. That's because there's no such thing. You know, I may not be here all the time, but I'll always be here. No matter where you go, whatever you do, I'll always be with you. Always. <laughs> you know, I should take some time to talk about something I never got a chance to warn you about. What? Boys. <laughs> what? You heard me. <laughs> you know, you spent the last few years finding out who you are as a person. It's been quite a journey. You've come so far. Such a short amount of time. It's the same thing for boys. You need to take your time with them. <laughs> There's a lot of different types out there. You need to spend some time dating a bunch of them. Oh my God. Find out who you like, who you don't like. And don't fall in love with the first guy that tells you that he loves you every day. Fall in love with the guy that shows you how he loves you every day. Okay? I'm not gonna be there with my baseball bat when they pick you up for the prom, you know. <laughs> about that car. <laughs> I see you got it all fixed up. Yep. Why don't you take it for a spin? Mom would kill me. Yeah, she probably would. <laughs> She's right, you know. You are a bad influence. So I've been told. <laughs> Sam. Just talking to Dad. He's proud of me. He is. And to take the car out for a spin? He said that. <laughs> mm. Let's do it. What? Let's take the car for a spin. Really? Come on. I'll teach you how to drive. <laughs>